In our sights today, we have Norway. Hello and welcome to Talk to You with Masculinity. If it's Wednesday, we have a cocktail video coming at you. Uh, today we're going to continue talking about uh, Smuggler's Cove and talking tiki. Uh, weather outside is just great for it. Uh, the cocktail we're going to cover today uh, is the Norwegian Paralysis. Uh, the Norwegian Paralysis is one of those rare tiki cocktails that does not have any rum in it. It actually has aquavit or aquavit, depending on your pronunciation. Uh, this cocktail, really not much history, is created by the uh, 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 Martin Kate, um, who wrote the book. Um, again, it's one of those sort of more recent cocktails, so there's not much history to talk about. And since there's not much history to talk about, let's make it and drink it, because that's the best part. All right, so I haven't had this cocktail yet. I, I, I saw it, I thought that the, uh, the ingredients list is kind of interesting, and so I can't tell you for sure if this is gonna be a great cocktail or not, but it's definitely gonna be something kind of interesting. So we're gonna start off with our juices, and we are gonna do an ounce and a half of fresh squeezed orange juice. We're gonna do an ounce and a half of sort of fresh pineapple juice. Let's say fresh-ish pineapple juice. Just enough. We're gonna do half an ounce of our lemon juice. And we're gonna do a quarter of an ounce of an orgeat. So orgeat syrup we worked with a little bit in the past, primarily with the Mai Tai. Um, and we're just gonna use just a quarter of an ounce. Orgeat is real thick. In fact, if you're doing this on your own, I would actually kind of recommend putting your orgeat and your next ingredient, which is gonna be the Demerara simple, uh, putting those in first, um, because then as you're putting your juices in, you can kind of rinse your, your uh, uh, jigger and make sure you've got all your ingredients in there. Uh, so we're also gonna do a quarter of an ounce of our Demerara simple syrup. And again, this is just a two to one uh, simple syrup using Demerara sugar. And our final ingredient is kind of an interesting one. It is, so the pronunciation is, I, I, I had originally been hearing everybody pronounce it aquavit, but I later heard people pronouncing it aquavit. So it is probably one of those two, or possibly a third uh, pronunciation that I'm totally getting wrong. I am very much not Scandinavian, even though I'm, you know, look like this. All right, so we're gonna do an ounce and a half of our aquavit. Aquavit, aquavit, aqua. Just delete as appropriate. All right. Now that we got this, it's got a really interesting uh, nose. I'm, this is gonna be an interesting cocktail to try. Let's go grab some ice and we'll shake this thing up. So we've got our we've got our shaker, we've got our ice. Let's dump that in there. And we've got our jade in here. So our jade is sort of like a very, very thick kind of simple syrup. Um, you really wanna make sure you get that blended in very well. Um, it's kind of a, it's kind of a unique ingredient. this in a Tom Collins. I'm gonna double strain that. And let's put it on in. So the the uh, your jade is gonna lead to a very creamy kind of a mouthfeel. Now there's only a quarter ounce in there, but I think that a quarter ounce is gonna go pretty far. So we're def it's definitely gonna change the mouthfeel of your drink. We didn't quite fill it. One thing you can do, you could toss in a little bit of uh, seltzer in there if you want to have a, a little bit of a carbonated feel. I'm not going to do that. I don't think it needs it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and garnish with just a uh, an orange zest. I think that'll do perfectly well. And there we have our Norwegian paralysis. Let's see if it lives up, lives up to the name. It's kind of an interesting. Uh, flavor profile, you, uh, you're you getting your pineapple and your orange, um, and to be honest, I'm really not tasting the aquavit or aquavit at all, or maybe only very, very much on sort of the periphery of the palate. Um, 
Yeah, I'm a little disappointed in that. It's not a bad cocktail. I don't think you, I don't think you'll be you know mad that you had this. Um, it's not very spirit forward. So if you're having, if you if you want to you know uh, be able to be standing after your second or third drink, then this probably isn't a bad choice. But it is very the the citrus and the juices are coming forward very quickly. Um, the aqua, or excuse me, the the orgeat isn't really doing much on the flavor. Maybe a little. It's adding a little bit of nuttiness. It is making the the, the cocktail have that sort of creamier mouthfeel. Um, no, I don't mind this one, but I kind of wish. I think you know what? I'm actually gonna just kind of on the fly. I'm gonna toss another half an ounce of aquavit in there, or aquavit, depending on what you prefer. We're just gonna dump that right in. Because this is one of those cocktails that calls for an ounce and a half. And I'm very much a two ounce <laughs> per cocktail person. So I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a turn. Let's see if that brings that aquavit out a little bit better. A little bit, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I'll change the, uh, the descriptions and everything. I would definitely go two ounces of aquavit, not an ounce and a half. I think otherwise it's just going to get totally lost in here. Because the pineapple and orange are doing a lot. They combine together well. Uh, the lemon isn't doing a ton. It's just bringing a little bit of citrus. Uh, and then obviously you got your, your sweetness here. So yeah, I would go with the two ounces of aquavit to make sure it doesn't get lost in the cocktail. Uh, that being said, I think this is a pretty good one. Uh, it's very citrusy. It's very refreshing. Uh, a little creamier than some of our other ones, which, you know, I guess depending on your mood might be a good thing or a bad thing. But uh, that being said, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good drink. Sort of been on little, uh, uh, fucking words.